Hello everybody and welcome back to Bell's channel. Today we will be doing part 22 of Bell's Fallout 4 Exploring Pen Guide and we will be doing the quest The Confidence Man with Piper. Um, now just before we start I just want to tell you um, that Fallout 76 is coming out. Well it's already come out for the early access for Xbox but today it has come out uh, for the beta. Um, so. I'm just going to give you the time to date and I'm going to tell you when I will be playing so when you will see my content. Um, so for Xbox only, unfortunately, um, it's out today, October 27th. Um, for US time, Pacific time, it's 2pm to 4. Uh, US Eastern time is 5 till 7. Uh, UK time, which is important, is 10pm till 12am. So if you're an Xbox fan and you've got a... If you're an Xbox fan and you live in England... Uh, it's 10 p.m. till 12 a.m. In Australia, it's 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. Sunday, obviously. Uh, Australia seems to be like a day like later. Um, so for October 28th, this is again for only Xbox players. It's U.S. Pacific time is 9 a.m. to 11. Eastern time is 12 p.m. till 2. Um, and UK time is 4 p.m. till 6 p.m. So it's only a two-hour. So again, if you're an Xbox fan and you're living. Uh, UK, it's 4 p.m. till 6 p.m. Uh, October 30th. Now, this is when it is open to everyone who obviously has pre ordered it uh, for, for like for PC, Xbox, PlayStation 4. Uh, for US, at specific time, it's 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. till 11 a.m. And UK time, this will be on October 31st, it'll be 3 a.m. till 7 a.m. So that's pretty inconvenient, sadly. Uh, for November the 1st, it is 11 a.m. till 4 um, for Pacific time. Uh, and for Eastern time, it's 2 p.m. till 7 p.m. And UK time, it's 6 p.m. till 11 p.m. And then for November the 3rd, it is uh, for Pacific time, 2 p.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. till 9 p.m. Uh, UK time is 9 p.m. till 1 a.m. And then and then for November 4th, which would be, I believe, the Sunday, for Pacific Time, it's 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. And Eastern Time, 12 p.m. till 9 p.m. And for UK, it is 9 p.m. till 1 in the morning. Now, I will be playing, sadly, only on November 3rd and November 4th at 9, 9 p.m. till 1 a.m. Um, that week, I'm actually very busy. I'm going to be working voluntarily at a hospital, so I will be completely booked for that day I possibly may get in on November 1st you know because as soon as it's at 6pm uh, I'll probably be home by then so yeah probably about there I'll probably play it so November 1st to November 4th that's probably when I'll be playing and that's probably when you'll be seeing my videos for it so again I do hope you watch those but yeah that is seems to be the only beta time we've been shown for the week but then obviously after that day of the beta we have a one more week or two more weeks on the Friday and then that's then it's out and then everyone has access to it as long as they buy it of course so yeah that is just what I'm going to tell you I'm literally I will be playing Fallout 76 on November 1st November 3rd and November 4th uh, on November 3rd th sorry 1st I will be playing at 6pm to 11pm November 3rd would be 9pm to 1am and that would be the same for November 4th. So yeah, just so you know, um, and probably you've seen some videos already of Fallout 76. But I will be playing it for myself which is going to be very good because I've been dying to play it. And I've, a few clips of the videos I've seen so far, it looks amazing. It looks better quality than even Fallout 76, Fallout 4 has. Um, so yeah, now I've tried to not watch it because I don't want to spoil it for myself. But it looks very good, very vault techy. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's start the confidence man quest. Um, while we were walking in on the last video, you would saw such funny one of the guards say the bother of brothers were looking for you. So that is who we are going to speak to now.
You have marvelous. Oh, bone here structure. we go. Stop Try by it, the mega surgery sometime. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible. Yes, it makes you want to cut your own ears off. <laughs> Agree. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Finn. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. But Tim... It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Someone needs to get rid of him! We need a new DJ for the radio! I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Uh, horrible That's idea. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. Honestly, oh, right. Vadim, That's what the enough. hell has gotten into you? Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Right. We're all just having a laugh. Hey, okay, good. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. <laughs> It's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Turn well, around. That can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. You sure managed to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? Okay, so yeah, we've started confidence man, and as it said during, Piper admired us. So let's have a quick talk with her. I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Someone poisoned you? <laughs> you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is, the still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I traced the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. It turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe, when suddenly I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself! And they buy it. They pull me back from the ledge, and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte. It took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. <laughs> exciting life. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Get in trouble, 
It's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I'm glad you're here too, Piper. Thanks, Blue. That means a lot coming from you. So, you want to get out of here? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we've had two talks with Piper now. First one where she told us about her father who died due to a corrupt um, guard. Now she's telling us about her exciting life. Uh, we do have two more um, like dialogues with her. Uh, one she'll tell us about her sister and then the next one it'll be the idolized. She's maximum affinity. Um, so yeah, let's just go talk to Vadim. Wherever he is. And then I think we may go and see Doc Crocker. I don't even know where he is. Seriously, where is he? Oh, oh, I went down the wrong way. I went down the wrong way. Here he is. <laughs> so the bar, the bar door's there. Need new clothes? Ooh. It's not by Ballad's basement. If you got like a during the day. bit of a thief. I need to take then care of something. Real quick. <sighs> Excuse me, you got a moment? So, how do you feel about the Commonwealth going forward? Most of the words that spring to mind ain't ones I'd say in polite company. That's so. Well, thank you again for taking the time. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Happy to help. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Ever been in one? I'm not some thug. I don't get involved in stuff like that. Real quick way to make a lot of enemies. Ugh. What if it was for good cause? Then would you be willing? I want to stage fight here in Daga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? How would something like that even work? It makes sense, I promise. I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis Takes him down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? All right, I'm in. Ah, I know I could count on you. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. I wanted so much more from my life than this.
I'm only here for a drink. Maybe I, I don't like your little radio me. program. What you have to say about that? You tell him. What? What? What's this about? I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> I'm just. I'm, I'm only here for a drink. Maybe I don't like your little hey radio there, pal. program. Oh. It's you. What you have to say about that? I'm here to give you a hand. I, I, I mean, I'm not really looking to cause, you know, trouble. I don't. I have no idea. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I. I that might end badly. With these men, it could. Well, it, it, could, it could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work, we're right behind you. Oh, um, hi there. Oh, okay, that's, well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I... Sorry, I just saw something. I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Oh, oh, God, my jaw. Bullshit, man. This, this is not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? Oh, I want you so I much uh, more from my life than oh this. Oh my god, off with me. I usually don't. This is why. This is why. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. Naked. I knew you had it in you. I can't, I can't believe it. You were right. Oh, I've, I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I'm busy. Excuse me. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for? Mo, where'd you go? You're bothering me. Hey, Vadim. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Brino. Good attitude. It's nice and easy. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Okay. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Okay, so let's go find Scarlet. She's telling me to go out to the, the dugout inn. So let's go. Let's go back to the music. So let's. Okay, she's like not far away, oh, no. so. Whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Yeah? Oh, that's Travis. 
Hey, Travis. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, hi. Again, uh, hi? Hi. <laughs> Dude, just say hi. Alright, here's Scarlet. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Sorry to have bothered you. Uh, no problem. I'm on a break right now. Oh, right. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Wish he had. Would you like it if he had mentioned you? Well, yeah. I guess I would. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Okay, 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 let's say, just in case, just in case. I get a threatener. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Alright, let's go return to Yafim. No, his name is Yadin. Vadim. Why do we have to talk to your brother then? Yidi, Yidi, I can't even say their names. There's Vadim and we Yidi. We offer a wide variety. Yifim. Vadim and Yifim. You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. And then let me go in. Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford hey, a lot of clothes. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay, and then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. I'll bring him back. I'll bring him back, Yafim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'll go with you, but someone has to stay here to talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. I wanted so much more from my life than this. No, let's go talk to Travis. I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now is figure out how to make this right. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing or in trouble or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. You really think you're capable of doing what needs to be done? You're talking about... about killing people, aren't you? If... if that's what it takes. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and... and then we can bring Vadim back? 
and everything will be okay. Right? I'll, I'll get a gun and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. Thank God, you're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good. I mean, I can do this. Totally. That's a good attitude. Because in a minute, you're gonna have to. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Just stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Right. Calm. I can do calm. Calm, 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 calm. Okay. Can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve? Yeah, there is a magazine in here, by the way. Um, well, if you like, you, there will be in areas where there's like hey, quests. Who bowling ball? Hold X. I swear I must be going crazy. I didn't want to just throw this up on. <laughs> right, the terminal. Oh, it's nothing.
Wait, let me get my five grenades. Oh my god, heal. Says Galja. We can have a look around while we're here. Oh, this is a back entrance if you want to go in through the back entrance. You're going to need a, a key or anything. You need advanced lock, so we're probably going to go out that way because Piper likes um, lock picking. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think there's anyone. Yeah, so let's go find your theme, your Dean. You didn't, yeah. Where's that Tower Tom? Tower Tom's here. Remember that Raider Boss name? There's Bull. His head popped off. There's Bottle Caps. Just give up the the magazine is here. Hell yeah. And now you can put picket fences. And there is, oh my god, I'm stuck. There is a Breentown Brew recipe thing. Right, your Dean Bob. Excuse me, Bob Ross. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are a true friend. You're welcome. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't going to leave you to these guys. You are a good woman. <laughs> These idiots had caps and gems just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. You are full of surprises, my friend. Hi. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. Pretty well? I barely recognize you, Travis. After all this... I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Bye. Yeah, so that's it, yeah, and we've leveled up. Um, so yeah, now we're just gonna look at the, whatever this is. There we go. Okay, so it's this trouble. Crew's getting restless, still got plenty of beer, but food's running low. Sent Sparta and a crew out of Bath 
bad B A D T F L will know who Sparta is later as well. See if they can find something, but folks are starting to get deserted. If we don't turn up something soon, closest reserves of the Federal Stockpile, but it seems Lily and Red Tourette's parents never taught those bitches to share. Gonna have to make a move if we don't hear from Sparta soon. Fucked up bad. We tried to storm the stockpile, but Lily Red and crew were dug in like ticks, wiped out half our men before we could bolt. Dragon Hook managed to grab a couple of hostages. Maybe we can trade them for a couple of snack cakes. At least we got few amount of speed. Jackpot, it's Lily. It's fucking Lily. I'd recognise that bitch anywhere. Drake brought the hostage from the raid up to my room in the second as I knew we were saved. Now Riddle have to deal with this unless she prefers getting us to back in pieces. So much dude, never seen so much food. I told her we had a sister bread thought I was full of shit. One letter from Little Sis cleared things up real quick. Now the crates are pouring in and we are the recruits. So are the recruits. This route will be able to make it move on Convega or DB Tech before the year's out. DB Tech. How the fuck did she get loose? I chained that bitch to the fucking floor. We'll, we'll still have sleep when she came. I thought I was aiming for her leg. Now there's blood fucking everywhere. Gonna clean this up. Do something to the body. This can't get out. Red's not gonna give us a shit if she finds out her sister's dead. Problem solved. Rumors of a fat caravan trade drifted in today. Hulk went to hit it, except it never showed, because it didn't exist. While everyone was there, I saw Shalou's body in the, one of the vats. I think she even improved the flavour. That's one problem solved. But this gang's dead in the water unless the food gets coming in. And I'm clearly like, let's have to keep going out and go to find some of more pens. Ah, see, if you kill him before, this won't pop up. Because this is what I did. Someone asked for a whole fucking crew. Gonna send out some scouts. Make sure I've cleared that place. I ain't setting up shop. Then the stock out asked for looting. Hope they didn't take too much. Convey it. Seems someone took down Jared. Which they hate that chem hugging bastard. Though he's there's no pushover. We're gonna need more guns. So yeah, I took down both of them gangs. So a lot of the gangs monitor each other by the looks of it. So, yeah, let's go out. Let's go around here, though. There might be something good. Whoa. Elevator. Nothing, nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh, let's go out the back door. Let's pick it. Keep you out. Hmm. And again, yeah, Piper liked that. So yeah, that is. So yeah, that is the confidence man quest. A bit, you know. You know, we got in a bar fight. Basically, it does change how the radio is, as well. What soon as Travis gets home, obviously, did back to Diamond City, his voice will change on the radio. You'll probably notice it in my later videos, and he'll have a small dialogue saying, "Thank you, for someone who changed my life." Da -da 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 -da. So yeah. Thank you for watching, I hope that was video, and I hope you watch the next videos. Goodbye.